I'm going to show you how to create beautiful straightener curls on George's hair. So we're going to go for this kind of off-center parting today for Georgie. You're going to start by sectioning the hair. So once you've sectioned both sides here, you're going to next do the crown. That's the first thing you're going to do. We are going to put heat protector on, but we're going to put it on section by section. And my favorite heat protector is the Silhouette Style and Care Lotion. It gives a lovely shine and gloss to the hair. It smooths down any flyaways, tames the flyaways. And you can actually use it kind of before you curl and you can put a little spritz on after you curl if you feel you need to. So with these straightener curls today, you can do slightly bigger sections, but I think we're going to do lots of slightly smaller curls. So we can use the straighteners just a little bit to smooth the top of the hair so it all looks glossy and gorgeous. And that will also warm up the hair. So when you then put the straighteners on, you don't get a mark on the hair. So you're warming up the hair and smoothing the hair at the top. So the hair's nice and warm. Put the tongs on, start turning. Glide the tongs down the hair. So all the hair goes through the tongue and you get your gorgeous straightener curl. One more here. So now I'm turning the tongs, the straighteners in this direction up all the hair, warm up the hair, smooth out the hair at the top, start turning all the way down so you catch the end of the hair and you've got your perfect curls. Now if, if your lady has particularly kind of maybe has a natural curl or quite a bit of a curl to the hair or it's quite kind of frizzy we don't want this curl to revert later on. We want to keep it as smooth and as glossy as we possibly can. So you can use a little bit of curl cream. So you could either use your something like the L'Oreal List Control, which is great if you're working with very fine hair, or if you're working with slightly coarser hair, I mean, I think this is a really good one to use. And it's just, a, it's still one of my favorite products. It's just the boots essentials curl cream and actually what it does you only need a tiny bit but it just smooths out any flyaways you're just going to smooth it over those curls and it just makes the hair really glossy so if your client's hair has a tendency to frizz or go a bit fly away this can be a great way and you see that tiny little smear has done all four curls so you don't need a lot you don't want to weigh the hair down you just want to keep it kind of smooth and glossy so now we've got our sections already created here we've got them we're going to work on this next one as you get higher up you want to make sure that as you create a curl it's kind of filling in a little gap then when you've finished all the curls, you don't have any gaps or spaces in the hair. A little bit on the diagonal here. And then do the bottom section and work my way up. And here we're curling away from the face. Don't be tempted to do big sections. You can make the curls softer just by taking the straighteners down a little bit more. So you get a kind of softer, less tight curl. So we've got our gorgeous straightener curls. A few little flyaways on the top here. We could use our Silhouette Style and Care Lotion. Just a little mist and then you can smooth that out. Find it works a treat. Or you could use a little bit of hairspray just to smooth any little flyaways <laughs> gorgeous so we've got a lovely head of bouncy gorgeous bouncy straightener curls